we can't just rely on just um, only going into the fields and, and just take everything that basically also belongs to, to other people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, again, this is something that I, I've been thinking about a lot is that the idea behind a lot of prohibitionist policy was that we've got to protect people from drugs, but it also had the effect of protecting drugs from people. And because these things have historically been somewhat marginalized, um, you know, it hasn't been that much of a problem if people want to harvest an old ayahuasca vine or they want to cut down an aboga shrub or they want to harvest a lot of peyote because not that many people were doing it. But the natural reserves of these different substances are not great enough to support a mainstream use of these substances. They will be eradicated by over harvesting. It's just a fact. Um, and it's probably happened before in history. You know, there's a plant called silphium that was once a medicinal plant that was harvested to the point of extinction. Um, and it could happen again. So I think that it's just, you know, it's all, it's all fine and good to appreciate the chemical complexity of a plant or a fungus, but it's just important to keep in mind that there is, yeah, there's an important conservationist element that has to be acknowledged. You know, is it worth it to hunt toads to extinction? Is it worth it to over harvest a boga, especially when, there's still basic research that needs to be done. You know, there, mm -hmm. there hadn't been any publications at all on the chemistry of Bufuel various venom until very recently. There was one that came out uh, a couple months ago that was great. And there was another one maybe um, in uh, 2019 that was a little more minimal. And before that, it had been almost, this, I think, the 60s that the last published report had come out. So you know, we're still learning basic things about what alkaloids are present in some of these materials, what the pharmacology of those alkaloids are. And I would hate to see the natural resources destroyed before we've even had the opportunity to adequately study them.